um, the South African flag will be taken off the coffin and there will also be a 21 gun salute and the coffin will then be handed over by the military to religious leaders and traditional leaders to perform the traditional rituals and ceremony before Nelson Mandela is finally laid to rest. Now that uh, we saw, uh, of course, uh, just a short while ago. On Jacob Zuma, they were saying, we're waiting for the mourning period to be over. We're very respectful towards Nelson Mandela. He wasn't only a political leader, he was our father. We will wait until the mourning period, zero. Narada Ishaisha there in Kulu as the burial service. The funeral in the village it has a lot of, says a lot about the care that they wanted to have and express for the people of where Mr. Mandela is coming from. I think it's a shame that there's so much anger and threats and not moving on as we would have hoped that his legacy is going to be carried on with. He was not a mere so much hope. I have to say that I have also lost a daddy today. <laughs> and uh, it is... Um, it's something that one will never forget. It's a memory, not this for me. It's very memorable. Well, we're going to continue, and of course, Vivian, uh, as we see uh, these images, uh, you know, it's, it's the talk a bit about it. Up to his knees, really, in allegations of various kinds, has been for many years, um, whether it be the rape charges that he was uh, brought, uh, brought under in 2005, which he escaped conviction of, um, and uh, and currently a lot of corruption charges. It's in tremendous popular anger about um, the upgrades to his homestead, for example, which apparently cost.